I remember the day we met. You ran down the hall yelling, Mummy, Mummy, what's in the bag? Smiling, she handed you what would turn out to be your best friend for the rest of your life. Day and night you spent carrying me around, watching movies, writing your diary, talking on the phone, unaware that I was fighting off the monsters that so tried to take you from me. I'd sit at the end of your bed every night, waiting for when I'd be needed again. The monsters under your bed never lasted, and the fiends from your closet never came close to you. You were my everything. You hugged me and loved me even when you were full of tears. Over the years, you hugged me and loved me less and less, and I understand. You're a big girl now, and I'm just a part of your childhood left behind. I'm still fighting off the monsters in your closet and under your bed, even though I'm falling apart at the seams. You're still my everything. The day I remember the most is when you faced a monster I couldn't fight for you. You smiled less and less, your body shined less and less, and over time your hair started to look like mine, all patched and falling off. I couldn't help but weep the day you dusted me off and brought me back to your bed. I hardly recognised you because of what this monster had done to you. After years of friendship, I started to fail you as a protector and as a friend. When you were taken to the hospital, you wouldn't let me go. Your grip on me became less and less steady. You couldn't even get out of bed on your own anymore. You cried, as did Mummy. Please bury me with Teddy is what struck down my pride and I've realized the end was near. You coughed that terrible cough gasped for every breath of air as this monster struck his final blows. The nurse knocked me off the bed in her desperate attempt to calm the storm, and I could only stare in horror when I realized I had no strength left in me to reach for your hand. The last thing I remember is you reaching out for me. I wanted to scream in agony and terror when I saw my best friend fading. You took your final breath that moment, and your monster finally won. I'm so sorry, my dear Sally. I've failed you and let that monster win. Mummy put me back in your arms the day they buried you and she couldn't help but weep. My dear best friend Sally, I'm not far behind you. Your best friend, your protector, your teddy. I'm on my way. Please forgive me.